the last flip flop that we have to study is our T flip flop. We have completed SR flip flop, D flip flop, and JK flip flop. When we have to only store the data, we use D flip flop. In JK flip flop, we overcome the not use state in the SR flip flop. That is one one state when your S is one and R is one. And in that case, we are having the toggling action. And the toggling is the control change of output from zero to one and one to zero. This is something we completed in the last two or three presentation. Now, if I ask you one question, what if I only want toggling action? In that case, we will use a flip flop we call as the T flip flop. This T stands for toggle. So definitely we are going to use JK flip flop to obtain our T flip flop like we used SR flip flop to obtain our D flip flop. But in D flip flop, we complemented the input. In this case, we are not going to do that. We will just give the same input like this. J and K are same always and this I call as T and this is our clock. So this is a very simple flip flop we call as the T flip flop obtained from the J flip flop when we make J and K as the same. Okay, in case of D flip flop, we were having SR and we complemented the R. Now let's see the truth table for T flip flop. We are having clock T as the two input and uh, QN plus one as our output. Now when clock is low, definitely the flip flop is not going to operate and the state will be stored so whatever be the value of our t the qn plus one the output is going to be qn that is our memory it's well known to you and when the clock is high and t is low it means again we are having memory because j in this particular case we are having j as 0 and k as 0 and whenever this happens we are having the memory it means whatever be the previous state is stored and the qn plus 1 is equal to qn so again we are having memory state in this case now what when the clock is high and the value of t is 1 this is what we are looking for because when t is 1, t is 1, j is 1 and k is 1 and this is the case when we are having the toggle action. So the output will be q and complement. This is my toggling. So this is all that we have to see in the truth table of the t flip flop. In the next presentation we are going to have the characteristic table and the excitation table of the t flip flop and after that we can move to our flip flop conversions. So this is all. See you in the next presentation.